Hello and thank you for joining us. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing fuel going into the coolant on a DD-15. I know I covered this before, but on this particular unit, we have a completely different failure, so stay tuned. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or we release a new video. If you'd like to schedule service, you can call us at 972-225-3017. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Let's get right into this video. Okay, as I mentioned, we have fuel going into the coolant. The difference between this DD platform is that we actually have fuel leaking on the outside. Now, when we do troubleshooting tests with fuel going into the coolant, one of the things that we're gonna be checking is the fuel cooler. Now, not all trucks have fuel coolers. This one here is a three filter fuel module which is the older style module and it does have a fuel cooler in it. Now, what we did is during troubleshooting is we saw fuel leaking behind this module, behind this housing, which indicates that we need to check the fuel cooler. Now, we, do, we did test the fuel cooler to see if it was actually leaking. This is a test tool here that we use to test and pressurize the fuel cooler and it was leaking. Now, there's two options for this particular repair. One is to get a fuel cooler delete kit, which is gonna basically put a block off plate on this. Now, if that is available, you can do that, but what we recommend is going ahead and updating the fuel filter, fuel filter module to the two filter system. Now, the two filter system does not have and it eliminates this fuel cooler, so you, don't, you will not have that problem in the future. Other things that I'd like to mention, if when you're doing this type of repair, the, the coolant lines, these are the type of coolant lines here that help that run across this. You're gonna have to move these and get this out of the way to make room. These fuel lines need to be replaced, okay? They're, they're brittle, they're plastic. Over time, if you have anything over 500,000 miles, you can have one to break on you like this. And when they break, you're pretty much losing your coolant and there's no way to stop that and you're going to have a, a check engine light and of course the engine's going to shut down and if you push it you could overheat that engine so anytime you do this type of repair make sure to replace these coolant lines as well and as i mentioned we're going to be getting rid of this fuel filter module and going with a two filter system that eliminates this cooler let's move over to the truck i want to show you where this actually is assembled and the mess that it made so let's move over here to the truck and check it out Okay, so now we're here at the truck. This is where the fuel filter module actually bolts up. And whenever you have cross contamination with fuel and coolant, most of the time it is gonna be the injector cups. But during the troubleshooting procedures, we are gonna be looking for external leaks. And we did find external leaks. It's a, it was a large leak. It's gonna be making a big mess. It runs all the way down the engine, all the way towards the back. So that's why it's very important to take a look at where you're parked. If you're parked in the area for a long time, and you for maybe if you're sleeping over and you move your truck, check to see if you have any stains on the floor, fuel or oil, and you wanna get those checked out and get them repaired pretty quickly. We are gonna go with a two filter system, as I mentioned, that's an updated system, and we're gonna get this cleaned up and get them back on the road. I hope this information was useful. If you have any types of problems, you can give us a call, 972-225-3017. And you can also schedule an appointment. We are located at 4140 Langdon Road, Dallas, Texas, 75241. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you're notified when we go live or release another video. Drivers, until next time, be safe.